Patrick again with MRTC here at Renegades Bar and Grill. Uh, you're probably watching this after the fact, but March 29th, we had the uh, Bikers Against Child Abuse benefit out here and live music, raffle prizes, and I'm here with Wedge, the president of the BACA, and also Eagle Bear. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. It's nice. great, to, great to have you guys here. Right on. Appreciate it. Talk a little bit about Bikers Against Child Abuse. Um, what, what, I mean, I, I was reading some of your pamphlet here, and, uh, you know, we all kind of know the problem of child abuse, but how did you get involved, and what can you guys do as an organization to help out? Well, originally, uh, uh, Baca started in Provo, Utah back in 1995. And actually, we run two chapters currently now, looking at opening up a third soon. I am um, the president right now, currently, of the South Metro chapter that's down here in the Lakeville area. Eagle Bear is looking at uh, starting our new chapter, which would be up in the St. Croix Valley area, and then we have a, a main Minnesota chapter. So we're growing just in the state here. Um, I think the state chapter's been around, what, two or three years? Yes, yes. Yeah, so the main chapter is, but well, we're just looking for an opportunity to, to really empower the kids to take their lives back. You know, the uh, kids of, you know, of not just Minnesota, but all over the nation. I mean, the abuse is, uh, is just horrific. And so we, we just joined as a group of bikers to, to try to help empower the kids to get their, get their lives back, to say it's okay, no, to have us there. We offer 24-hour um, assistance if necessary, um, help them with counseling. And Eagle Bear does a lot more with like the court liaison and child liaison if you want to just expand on that a little bit. Too. Yeah, you help out in the court system. Right, exactly. I mean, going to court for an abused child, I mean, it can be one of the scariest places that they can go. In fact, almost more scary than their abuse. They're sitting in this courtroom, their perpetrator is sitting there staring at them. Mm -hmm. We go into this courtroom, we sit there, we, we are there for them, we say, you know, look at us, we are here for you, and somehow they draw from us being there the strength to say, yes, this is what happened. This is what this person did. They get this perpetrator put away. And then that's another one that's not going to be out there to hurt somebody else. You guys are there just, you know, to kind of support and tell the kid it's okay to talk and things oh, like absolutely. that. And I was reading, you know, it says you provide the safety for children and a deterrent to future abusers, you know, strengthening, strengthening children and communities and raising awareness. Um, if people want to get involved, I see uh, BACAinternational.org is the website. Correct. And or Baca guys, USA too. I'm sorry. Baca no, USA. Yeah, Baca USA. Yes. Uh, we'll also work BacaUSA.com. Uh, what about a guy like me that likes riding motorcycles and likes helping the cause? Uh, do you guys do some uh, some kind of rides and things like that? Yep. Well, as a chapter, each chapter um, nationwide, there's over 115 worldwide now. I think most of them are in the United States. There's a handful that are in, in Australia and a few more opening in Europe right now. But each chapter kind of runs their own rides, Patrick, and we always welcome people to join just to ride as a supporter. Um, certainly they can't go on the specific rides when we go to visit the children. Um, those are, have to have clearance and, and sure. things like that. They go through a state and also a federal background check. Um, and so, But we do a lot of fun rides. We do rides that we go visit the kids with. And so there's of all kinds of different rides. And at, at the websites, when you go to Baca USA or Baca International, you can click on Minnesota. It'll give you the different chapters and what rides are participating on at that time. Right. On. And so it's terrific. But we're not, you know, we're not a vigilante group. We basically, or I probably said that wrong, but we're we're basically a group of bikers that once there's a, a case sort of, you know, kind of filed, a lot of times these these kids fall through the cracks. And we don't want them to feel like it for whatever reason, maybe something doesn't come up of it. But once that happens, we just want to be there and we act as a deterrent, standing at the ready to help defend these kids, support them, let them know that we're there to, mm -hmm. to help them out. Um, right. We don't condone the use of violence or anything of that nature, so it's, right. a, it's a terrific organization. So. Yeah, well, I appreciate what you guys are doing for the community. Thank you. Thanks so much for Thanks your for time. telling us about the cause it. and all that. Absolutely. And uh, BACA international.org or BACA. BACAUSA.com uh, is fine too. So. Right. Motorcycles. Uh, myself being a motorcyclist, it's uh, always cool to see how much they're willing to give back to the community. So, yeah, think of them if you ever want to help out. <laughs> Hi, I'm Shannon. I'm one of the Renegades girls. I'm Shane. I work at Renegades. Hi, I'm Christine. I'm one of the girls. And you're watching MRTC. Hey, welcome to Renegades. My little buddy Tiny here are going to show you how to rough it up. Come play with us May 9th with Patrick. This is MRTC. 
Hi, I'm Shannon. I'm one of the Renegades girls. Come see us on Wednesday and every Tuesday, Thursday, and the other days involved. But Wednesday is our Roadhouse Jam down at Renegades with Dave Lambert and friends. Musicians are welcome and look for us on MRTC. Patrick with MRTC here with the band Soviet Machines. How's it going, guys? Good. First off, let's start with the obvious. Um, you guys are kind of young. Yeah. Uh, what are your ages? I'm 16. I'm 16. I'm 18. And what are your names for the camera, too? Jack and Steve Awesome. Marcus Jones. Now, being so young, how long have you guys been going at this? I mean, is this something like uh, you just decided to do last week? or? <laughs> <laughs> probably, uh, we've been together probably about a year. Wow. Um, okay, Charles the guitar player out about six months ago. Essentially a three-piece for six months. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say, you guys make a lot of noise for being a three-piece. Um, <laughs> uh, do you guys, how, what's your story? How did the band get together? Are you guys just childhood friends and you decided to play music? Or? Me and yeah. Smith are childhood friends. I've known him since I was like five years old. Yeah, and I met Jack Swagger through Cross Country. High school. And okay. <laughs> talk about music all the time, so I thought start a band and we jammed and it was good so pretty now, much am i correct that you guys have won a couple of battles of the bands or yeah. that's, that's actually kind of how we kind of started getting noticed on the scene because i mean w one of the things that people don't realize is when you're that young you, you don't get taken seriously until at least a, a few people know who you are so right and what, what was the battle uh the battle that kind of... The, the big one. I, I, the, I thought I read something about a big battle you won. We, we, that launched uh, you into stardom. <laughs> yeah. Yes. We, we did a battle Minnesota. at the Taste of Minnesota in 07, and it was awesome. It was like the biggest crowd we've ever played to. And we actually played with um, uh, a couple other bands. Yep. And a couple other bands in the battle that, uh, I mean, they're on the scene right now just like we are. So, so that was pretty cool. Yep. And that was the first time playing with them. Yeah. Love those guys. So, and yeah, and, and it worked out and we won. So... We uh, it helped finance our uh, our records. Right on. And uh, now you've also been on uh, 93X Loud and Local. You do have a CD out, uh, myspace.com slash the Soviet Machines, if you want to check out and listen to a couple of their tracks. But are you working on a new uh, a new CD as We're, we speak? Or? We actually are. We just finished cutting our new single. It's going to hopefully be out here pretty soon. What we're thinking about doing is maybe doing a couple teaser singles and then uh, probably have a new EP out probably uh, this summer sometime. Yeah. So. Right on. And you guys gig a lot, I've noticed, lately. And you actually have two gigs today. You're... you're Packing up your gear, and then you're heading off to the garage in Burnsville, which yeah. is a, uh, a venue for uh, teenagers in Burnsville. Well, and uh, well, one of the things that I think people just in bands need to know if they want to be successful is you, not every gig is going to be a packed house. So I mean, you play as many gigs as you can, and I mean, even if, if it's one new fan a show, I mean, it, it gets the job done. Two, two people and five dogs. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, here's a. You, you guys know what I was doing when I was 16? What were you doing? Uh, not this. <laughs> Lots of nothing. <laughs> this is MRTC. Hi, I'm Christine. I'm hanging out at Renegades, and you are watching MRTC. I'm so addicted to. <laughs> Hi, Wayne from Renegades. Join me and the Renegades gals as we have fun in the month of May. We celebrate Tribute Month with tributes to Guns N' Roses, Judas Priest, and Van Halen. We have Patrick, Sick of Sarah, here on May 9th. Special show. Come on down. Be part of it. Now, you found your way out in the 